Let's talk. What about DMCA? Now, this pertains to YouTube. It's been going on on YouTube for a long while now. A couple of years. Game content creators have been getting dinged more and more for, especially as of late, last year or so, for music that is within a game. The developers paid for the music to use as background and mood setting for the games. Yet, as YouTube content creators, we're not allowed to have it playing? Okay. And that applies to streamers as well. We're not allowed to stream the game we're playing with its background music. The devs paid the record labels and the artists for that music. And by extension, and I'd say by extension, we're paying the record companies as well. When really and truly what we're doing is paying the developer to recover their losses. But we bought the game. Playing the music shouldn't be an issue. Another area that's been getting hit pretty hard, especially in the last 6 to 12 months on YouTube, is the uh, reaction videos. Now, these are people that, as the name implies, react to music, situational stuff like car wrecks, that kind of stuff. But for the people who focus on music reactions... It's been a really rough year. More and more of their stuff is getting dinged automatically. Before, basically before they can put it up. As soon as they go to upload it, as soon as they upload it, you know, the system is telling them, um, no, you can't use this, it's DMCA. Now, most of the content creators I know in that vein... They either do music exclusively or as a part of an overall theme, well, a thing, a, you know, reaction theme. Either pause the music to talk, talk briefly, and then press play again, even rewind and play repeatedly throughout the music, throughout the song. Or they talk over it, off and on. And I think by the laws, that's actually fair use. So why they're getting dinged all of a sudden is beyond me. Dinged so hard, no less. By YouTube. Because it's YouTube enforcing it. For the most part. And, you know, some cases it's the record labels. I honestly think sometimes think the record labels actually have bots that surf the site and look for people to ding for DMCA. Now this is... And then there's the whole DMCA and Twitch streamers for listening to music while they play their games and stream them. Well, I have problems with this on all sorts of levels. I am not going to lie. It irritates the shit out of me. But, on the one hand, you've got streamers like myself who have, in the past, used playlists from YouTube. Either playlists we've created artist channel playlists whatever 
and now we get DMC strike for that music playing in the background of our streams. Most of us, and I only do that for a couple of games, two or three of them, really. One specifically all the time, and then some others randomly. And to me, it's just background noise. It's me having music I actually enjoy to listen to while I'm playing the game. I shut off the in-game music and use the playlist. But I can't do that anymore. I risk a strike against my channel. And Spotify is another one that you can use. Or that has been used. Can't do that anymore. I gotta go back and check the TOS. Actually, I think you might be able to do it if you're paying, if it's a paid subscription. I'm not sure. But if you're using it as, as a free user, then no. Um, and then there are also, again, like me, people who have bought and paid for music they've collected over time. In my case, decades. Several decades. If you can't tell by the frosty beard. Music that's on cassette, vinyl, CD. More stuff I bought digitally off Amazon. Just because I'm running out of places to put shit. Um, and the cassettes and the vinyl I have to convert. But I have a hard drive full of music. my message there is what I do with music I've paid for so long as I'm not selling the music itself it's just an addendum to what I'm doing streaming wise is nobody's goddamn business especially not the record companies Or the artists, as much as I love the artists. Because sometimes it might be an artist that does that. It is, let me put it this way, my stream, much like, say, a Facebook page, even though it's public, as long as, you know, well, my semi-public, because I've got privacy settings. My stream is my living room, digital living room, where I gather friends and friends that might become family in the long run, family of choice, which is a powerful thing. We gather together to hang out with me while I game and shoot the shit amongst themselves and with me. And so DMCAing me for music I'm I paid for that I'm listening to in my living room is the equivalent of coming into my living room and saying I can't use the music I paid for. You may disagree with that statement, you may agree with it. it makes no never mind to me. You're all entitled to your own thoughts and beliefs. Allowed. Entitled. Nah, neither one of those words is really good. Have the right to your own beliefs and thoughts. And opinions. But that's my opinion. Now, another thing is that in the last year, the music companies have, and the artists have been hit, both in small scale and big, the large companies, as far as 
concert touring and venues like that, you know, go and playing live. They've been hit hard, like a lot of people, because of this COVID shit and the reaction to it. And that's an avenue of revenue they don't have access to anymore. And the incoming president is talking about almost a full third of a, about a third of a year national mandate for masks, which is going to upset the apple cart even more, or extend the hurt even more. Than it are than what's been going on already has. That, like I said, that avenue of in of revenue inflow is closed to the music companies and the artists right now. And honestly, I suspect it's hurting the small up and comers a hell of a lot more than it's hurting the record companies and the big artists a hell of a lot more. At least as far as market share is concerned, because. And it's how small artists become big artists. Market up uh, through marketing, in, in concert tours and club playing clubs and sh bars and shit, is a form of marketing. I mean, it's a form of direct revenue and you know revenue influx, but it's also marketing. As I said, that avenue is close to them right now. We the streamers. And the content creators on YouTube, or even on TikTok for crying out loud, I suppose, are in effect free marketing for the record companies, the music they produce, and their artists that create the music. So basically what they're doing is pissing all over their free marketing. By pulling this crap. Again, my opinion. I personally think a lot of the record companies need to eat a bag of dicks and die. But, again, my personal opinion. I love music artists. I just don't have a whole lot of love for the record labels. By and large. Smaller ones, yeah, maybe. But the big, big ones, no. Well, anyway, they're pissing all over the free marketing. We don't ask to be paid for it. We just want to be left alone in our digital living rooms, in the case of us streamers, to be allowed to enjoy the music we love with our friends and families. That's it. Now, a streamer I was watching during a charity marathon over the weekend brought up an interesting idea for Amazon to do, and that they give us the Amazon a, a variation on the uh, basically a variation on the Amazon Music app for you know that we have attached to our Amazon accounts. That yeah, is. Full of non-DMCA free music that they have bargained with the record companies for and come up with a new contract and say, here, here's a new extension, new app for you to attach to your stream full of music you can listen to without worrying about being dinged. They could also do it with DMCA free music, but there's already, uh, already a few... Uh, DMCA free music apps pretzels one of them and there's a couple others I can't think of because the one I had on mine for a while I just took it off because I don't like it spamming the music uh, info in my chat is so and the other thing I've been doing so I can avoid being getting a copyright strike is I've started making playlists of DMCA free music a lot of e mostly EDM, electric dance music, 
electronic dance music, um, lo-fi, that kind of thing, and listening to that if I want to listen to music so I can avoid the dings. It irritates the living shit out of me to do so. But I do it to avoid the dings. And I thought that was an interesting idea out of that that particular streamer uh, mentioned. Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Lobo Gaming 52 Lobo for short. You can find me on Twitch at LoboGaming52. You can find me on Twitter at the same handle. So anyway, that's my rant. My thoughts on DMCA, such as they are. The record companies, and by extension the platforms, because they're having to enforce it on their end, need to lighten up and leave us alone. If you like World of Warships, I play World of Warships. I also play a variety of other games. If you like hunting games, I play one of those. I play FPS once in a while. I'm actually getting ready to do a new run through uh, of the uh, Deuce X games. Uh, Human, Re Human Revolution and Mankind Divided. I gotta get my cyberpunk is fixed somewhere. I can't afford to do cyberpunk because I had to do a major rebuild on this PC. Crapped out two weeks ago. That was not money I was expecting to have to put out so cyberpunk is not in my list of things to get for a while anyway thanks for listening to me ramble on have a good one Merry Christmas